So you want to get custom maps in Minecraft on your Mac. Well, luckily, this is very, very simple and easy to do. We're going to go over every single step of downloading, installing, and adding and playing custom maps in Minecraft for Mac OS. First and most, though, we do have a quick message from our sponsor, Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server. We love just Apex so much that we host our own server, play our breakdown craft.com on them, and they allow us to make videos like this possible. So thanks to Apex for sponsoring this video, and check them out if you're looking for an amazing Minecraft server that you can easily add your custom map to. Again, that's the breakdown.xyz slash Apex, first link down below. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get some maps downloaded. I'm going to install two maps today, and if you're looking for some custom maps to install, check out the second link in the description down below, and that will take you here. This is a list of 21 custom maps for Minecraft, and the version for all these maps is listed. We're always adding at least five maps for every new Minecraft version that comes out. For example, we've got 1.18 here, but you can scroll down quite a ways, and we have 1.18. 17 for example and then even I think there's some 116 maps yes down here at the very bottom so whatever map you want is going to be on this list and the newer maps are always towards the top for example, right now we're looking at 1.18.1 maps. So right here, Radiant City Official, this is a pretty good map. So let's go ahead and download that one. Just right click on the download button. And then we'll also go ahead and grab a Skyblock map here. Why not? Well, once you've got these here, these are both on Curse Forge, where you want to come over here to the right hand side, scroll down, find the version you want, and click the download button to the right of it. The download will then begin after a few seconds and it'll just go straight into your downloads folder. You may have to allow, keep, or save this file depending on your browser. Same thing can be said about Radiant City. Come over here to the right hand side and and click download. Now, some maps may be hosted on MC map here. I don't know if there are any 1.18 maps. Yes, oh, so Minecraft maps here. If it is hosted on Minecraft maps, the download process would be, be scrolling down and clicking the download Minecraft map button. This is the allow that I was talking about. You may have to allow files to be downloaded from the site, and that's perfectly normal. Nevertheless, if we go ahead and minimize the browser here in our downloads folder, we're going to have these maps. As you can see, we have the RC. I don't know exactly what that one is. Radiant City, I'm guessing. Pog Jump and Skyblock. If you go ahead and open these in Finder, open your downloads folder in Finder, you'll have your three maps here. What we want to make sure is when we open these maps, we see this data, data packs, dim one, dim dash one, things like that. These should not be zip files, they should just be folders. If they are zip files, you need to unzip them. Nevertheless, though, when you open them, if you don't see this, go into this next folder, right, until you do see things like data, dim one, dim dash one. Once you find that, click the arrow on the like up in the top left and drag that folder back out to your desktop. You want to make sure that as soon as you open these, you see data, dim one, dim dash one, and things like it, because if you don't, it will not work. But luckily, all of these have that. Once you've got these, we want to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. So let's go ahead and open that up here. Boom, there we go. And then in the Minecraft launcher, we want to click installations up here at the top. Then we want to find the latest release right here. Everyone should have latest release no matter what. Then come over and click this folder. So hover over latest release, come over and click the folder. And when you click on that, it's going to open up. What else but your Minecraft folder? This is where all of your Minecraft files are held, including your world saves, which is what we're going to be doing here. We're going to be adding in worlds, right? Custom maps. So once you're here, you want to scroll down and find your saves folder. Right there it is. There is saves. Double click on that to open it up. And now all you need to do is drag and drop these into your saves folder, right like so. Once these are in your saves folder, you're good to go. You have now installed your maps. To get them open, we need to open up Minecraft. So let's go ahead, open up latest release, and I will meet you on the Minecraft main menu to show you these maps are installed. So here we are on the Minecraft main menu. If we go into single player, we'll be able to see there's the maps we wanted. We've got Skyblock, we've got Radiant City, and we've got World, but Pog Jump is listed right there. You can open these up by double clicking on them. Sometimes you may have to convert or like move the world forward into a newer version. Usually that is okay, except 1.17 maps to Minecraft 1.18 maps break because the coordinates change, right? They added all the blocks under and above the, uh, the world height. So because of that, you have issues. So here we are. Um, I'm guessing this is some sort of a puzzle map. There we go. Um, and yeah, so it's a pog, pog jump, actually. I think it's, is this a fall map? What is this? Oh, it's a parkour map. Of course it is. And uh, well, I suck at parkour. So there's that. That map is working. And then we also have our skyblock map here, which is just a, a really cool kind of custom skyblock map. And then we will also have Radiant City, which is, I believe, an adventure survival puzzle map, which is uh, really cool as well, because that's just my favorite style, right? My favorite style is like survival maps. So here we are in a, another, well, this is a survival map as well, but as you can see, you've got all these custom islands around here. There's some off in the distance that we can't even see really. They're everywhere and you can explore around and all that stuff. Each one is a bit different. And then last but not least, there is Radiant City, which is just a really, really cool map in general because of the builds and build style and all that stuff. Here we are in the Radiant City map. And as expected, this is a uh, 
something we need to escape. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Give a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more incredible content. And check out these awesome Mac videos on your screen now. Want to know how to get shaders on your Mac? We show you how. Want to start a Minecraft server on your Mac? You can do it. Want to find things like, well, just simply how to find like your resource packs and install those and all that? We show you how to do that as well on the videos on your screen. So check those out. Amazing resource for Minecraft Mac tutorials. And thank you so much for watching. My name is Nick, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.